everything to do with me and anybody who might find their self, um, themselves in the situation that I'm in currently now. So I want to record this vlog so people could get the current state of my energy or should I say the lack thereof. So, um, so you guys can understand what's been going on with me. Uh, I have, I suffer from anxiety and depression, you know, so like every day is a battle. It's like, you know, kind of like addiction. You're an addict, you know, every day you have to fight to stay sober. So same thing with anxiety and depression, like little things can send me into a, a downward spiral. So that's why I'm kind of an introvert. As popular as I may seem, I have to stay to myself because when I start mixing my energy with other people, then it starts to stress me out and things like that. So. I try to tend to stay to myself. But um, right now, I'm going through a whole nother level of anxiety slash kind of depression. Or just let me just say a slump because this is not me being depressed. But um, I'm in an entrepreneur slash creative woe time. And this is the first time in my life where I'm doing a venture and I'm not necessarily working a nine to five or I don't dance, I don't bartend, I don't have anything going on but what I have going on, which is imperative. It's imperative that I had to get to this point of doing nothing else for me to be able to do what I'm doing. And uh, I'm gonna bring a point up and then I might go back a few times just so you guys can follow me. So, um, you know, I wrote my first book in 2016, and people were like, when are you going to write another book? When are you going to write another book? But, of course, in the midst of all this, I wound up bartending at a restaurant and was working there like six days a week, open to close, you know what I mean? Then I got no relationship, so I just, my time got tied up in things that had nothing to do with my talent or my craft. So, fast forward, lost the job, and the relationship was closed, so I left, and, um soon after my second book was finished and in the midst of me having my bartending job it always I always had the thought like okay maybe I should not you know what I'm saying work because when I work I don't focus you know I've been working since I was 15 which is probably the biggest downfall that I've ever had because I've been chasing a check and money 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 since as long as I can remember it's like partly like I was missing shit in college because I wanted to keep my job like, you know what I mean? Like, I just missed a lot of life just trying to work. And at this point, I'm 28 years old, and I'm damn near 15 years into working. I'm tired. Aside from working forever and chasing chicks and missing so much shit, I'm tired of working. I don't want to work for anybody else. And if I do want to work, it wants, I want it to be in the career field of my choice. Which leads me to the feelings that I've been having lately. There is extreme turmoil and disappointment and emotional roller coaster when you are an entrepreneur or or a creator slash creative because you don't have to be a creator to be an entrepreneur but me i'm both i'm a writer and i'm one i'm a personality you feel me that's my creative part but um this shit is hard like my money being solely based off of books or you know what i mean like stuff like that because y'all don't read and i can know a million people and i won't sell a million books i'm starting to learn that just because people know you or deal with you on some kind of level doesn't equal support let's just look at my vlogs i have like 15 16 000 people on twitter um like 2,000 on Instagram, 5,000 followers on Facebook, and I only have one blog that has gotten a thousand views. It's like y'all can sit on the web and surf Twitter all day. I can get on Instagram and surf Instagram all day, but it will kill you to get on YouTube and watch my video. And I made my video 10 to 12 minutes specifically because the attention span of y'all is so short. Of course, I would love to do a 30-minute 
30 minute, 45 minute vlog. You know what I'm saying? I would love to have a show, but y'all not even following me on 10 minutes. So it's like, damn if I do, damn if I don't. And it's, it's just like, you start to hate the people around you because it's like, I don't need y'all to tell me why y'all don't buy a book. Like, I don't need to hear, oh, I'm getting paid next week. And then I'm, what am I supposed to do? Chase you down next week when you get paid and beg you to, to you know what I'm saying, buy a book? I don't, I don't really know what y'all want from me. I know what I'm capable of. And I would like for everybody to see what I'm capable of. But I'm not willing to lose myself to do it. And I feel like losing myself is kissing y'all ass. And when I say y'all, I'm not necessarily meaning you guys that are watching, but like people that, you know, people that might consider themselves my friend, you know, who might be watching, you know, which is fucking rare because my friends don't watch shit that I post. So, you guys see funny shit on the timeline. People retweet funny shit all day. Like, a retweet, a repost is free. Going on my page for 30 seconds for a view, liking a video, subscribing is free. Everything, like, the book is $20. If you can't do the book, okay, cool. But the free shit, what's the issue with doing the free shit is where I'm fucking confused at. And it's like, I'm not one of those people that came from a family where it's like, oh, mom, let me borrow $5,000 to get this off the ground. Oh, I don't have a rich nigga who gave me, you know, bought me all this shit from AliExpress and I started a boutique. I don't have none of that. I'm really, like, from the bottom. The way I got my books printed was pre-selling my books. I know how much a, book, a case of books costs. I know if I can pre-sell this certain amount, then I'll be able to buy the whole case of books. That's how I figured out how to get my books printed up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some days it's like, what am I even doing? Because I have two, at this point, I feel like I'm at a rock in a hard place. Like, a, it's a fork in the road right here. And there's no middle lane for me. This is how my vision is right now. It's just how everything's tumbling on me. Not to say this is my permanent feeling, but this is what I am feeling now. There's two roads. Two. I can get a nine to five, whatever. Go back to the club. I can do anything for money and be miserable because I'm not chasing my dreams. Or I can chase my dreams and not have the money or live the kind of life that I would like to live right now and be miserable because I'm chasing the journey. I choose the latter. But please don't don't get it twisted that there's still misery in this journey. You know what I mean? So it there's a 50-50 chance in failure as an entrepreneur. And especially as a creator, a creative. You know, if you have a job, you can work that job and climb the ladder with that job. If you go to school for, you know, law, if you go to school for medical, shit, surgeon, dentistry, you do the work, you, you can get a job. You, I, I could wholeheartedly put all my energy and all my drive and all my passion into vlogging and being a personality and writing a book and still fail. There is no place in the world for us but making it or not. And that's the scary shit I'm facing. I'm not expecting to be like a New York best-selling time author next week at all. I'm not necessarily expecting a million views on the video next week. But I definitely do wake up and realize that failure is definitely pressure impossible. And I'm not sure if it's any other entrepreneurs or creatives who have hit this roadblock that I'm in where they feel like they're cornered. And they're going to have to make a decision on where they're going to be happy in a job or be happy doing what they're doing and making a million other sacrifices. Because I don't necessarily want to stay where I stay now. I don't necessarily not want to go out. I don't you know, it's a lot of stuff I don't necessarily not want to do. 
but it's imperative and it's you know it's very detrimental that I make those sacrifices now if I have even a slight chance of being successful later and maybe me having anxiety and shit it's a little bit more pressure on me maybe other people can handle a little bit more uh, pressure than I can I like to think that I'm strong but shit fucking sucks every day feeling like you're doing the right thing you getting better and you putting your all into it and motherfuckers just scroll by your shit I know I wrote two damn good books if you haven't read my books I feel sorry for you because I'm an extremely good writer if you don't watch my vlogs, I feel sorry for you. Because I have gems in it. You know what I mean? It's like, everybody is cool with me getting on Twitter and saying, oh, I only drink water or alcohol. I'm either drunk or hydrated. It's no in-between. And that gets 75,000 retweets. People are fine doing that. But when it comes to this, I don't have, it's like not the same energy. And now I can imagine how artists feel making songs and you know people love to say don't compare yourself to others but to some extent you kind of do so you can see what's going on in the area of the craft that you want to do of course you want to see what everybody else's music sound like compared to yours of course i want to see everybody else's i want to listen to everybody's podcast and of course i want to watch their blogs and it's like how in the fuck did you get to, to thirty-five thousand subscribers and how is your shit getting 75,000 views a video. You're not saying shit. It's overwhelming to say the least. So, sometimes it's hard for me to vlog weekly because I am down. I couldn't imagine giving y'all a video full of funny shit and great food when I don't feel like eating because I'm stressed, you know? But I shot this video because maybe speaking on my feelings would have helped me feel better. And uh, you guys can understand me a little bit more. And maybe somebody else is watching and feeling the same shit. And they're going to be like, nah, I'm going to keep fighting. I'm not the only one feeling this. Because sometimes it's just knowing that you're not the only one that, you know, makes you feel better so I don't know what else to say man I'm trying I'm gonna keep trying till I feel like I can't try no more